going live. Going live. All right, let's see here. Live chat, all messages are visible for all of you. And uh, away we go. Welcome to live chat. All right, let's see uh, if anybody comes on. That'd be great. That'd be uh, fantastic. Been live for 20 seconds now. Um, let's see. This week was busy for me. Uh, I took a semi-vacation. Not really, though. I went to uh, San Diego. My mom came into town. Hi, Mom. Uh, she went to go visit my brother as well as, uh, I would say, me, I guess. And we had a little fun. She, my, you know, my brother, his wife, and uh, my niece and nephew. So uh, she took a little vacation out there to see them. They just moved out there. So uh, what is up? Camp Goer One. I do want to say this, by the way. Uh, I found this out last week the hard way. Uh, if you guys do write a comment, it's on a severe delay. I think it's like a 30 second delay. Uh, thank you, uh, Camp Goer One. Thank you very much. Um, what's up, Sean? One of my regulars. Appreciate you coming back, bud. Uh, so, guys, I was saying that, like, if uh, the the comments. <laughs> Uh, it's good, Sean. Uh, the comments are delayed, so I apologize if it takes me a little while to respond to your comments just because. What's up, Joseph? Hi, MIW. Cool. Uh, good evening from NB. What's up, Greg? Are you a nomad? Uh, I don't know. Define nomad. I do live in my van 100% of the time. Uh, I do... I've been in, in this van for almost two years now. And what's up, Joseph? And I predominantly stay in the Los Angeles area, but I have traveled very little. I Once I do my next build, which will be starting in May, uh, I will be 100% nomad. I'll be traveling around the country and doing a bunch of different things. What do you, what do you think of the solar generators? Uh, well, I, I do like them. I don't need them. I have a power source by Jackery that I really like, which is weird because it's actually powering my laptop as I look at it right now. Uh, I just, you know, since I've had my Jackery power source unit, I actually hardly ever turn on my uh, inverter. The only time I turn my inverter on is if I plug in my Instapot because that's 800 watts. That's about it. Uh, hey, from Florida, what is up? Uh, one, okay, that's it, cool. Can't go. I hope I answered it. Uh, let's see. So Cal SAX. Uh, great content. Thanks. Uh, wondered where you get your water for uh, your water for my van. <laughs> I don't know if stealing water is a thing, but what I do is I actually go to because I filter all my water. I go to like uh, gas stations and I find out I go like the water and air pumps. If you go over to them and you just hit the water, some of them are free. You don't have to put the quarters in for it. And some of them you have to put the quarters in. Or you can actually go in and ask the attendant if you can just turn the water on. Uh, they're, th they're designed to put into your uh, your radiant your, your radiator. So I just do that. I pull up to the back of them, usually kind of late at night where nobody's around. And I just fill in my tank that way. That pretty much that's how I do it. 18 gallons last me. If I use it a lot, it will last me a week. And that's how big my tank is. Uh, Camp Gore One, ever been to RTR? I've only been to the last one, which we just had, and I actually gave a seminar there. So, yeah, and I actually did a video with Bob Wells. And, uh, excuse me, I don't know when that video is coming out, but I had a lot of fun. I was only there for like 36, 48 hours, something like that. Hi from Connectivity. All right, Joseph, cool. I have a smaller BAM think, I'm thinking that's van think that may be better than a solar solar art up oh, you try to say that sean did you type that quickly connecticut there it is hey from connecticut joseph what up uh hopefully i'm back in the northeast uh in a couple in a couple months uh nathan what is up man uh so guys by the way the comments are delayed i found that out the very hard way um they're like a good 30 that 30 to 60 seconds delay uh, you interview way cutter vans dwellers than Bob. Oh, thanks, man. Um, I think. Oh, okay, I missed this year's RTR. Too much rain. Yeah, I actually I missed the rain. I was there before 
the rain all happened. I had a lot of friends that got stuck actually in the rain. It's kind of treacherous. Um, by the way, the hat is by Illuminus. Um, today I switched it up because this past week I actually did a like a vlog or I did a video at Illuminus. I, I haven't released it yet because I actually filmed something that has not been released yet by Illuminus. I uh, can't talk too much about it, but uh, I it's the it's it's the first one. And this is the first that they had to redesign some things uh, for their gear. And it is really, really exciting. I don't know if it'll come out this week, but I think it's going to come out next week. The video, the video is going to come out. Their announcement should be out this week, maybe the end of the week. But it's really, really cool what they did. And I'm definitely going to be working with them in the future. Um, Sean. <laughs> Uh, enjoy your Toronto. Oh, thanks. Toronto. I can't wait to go back up to Canada. I had so much fun up in like the like Northeast Canada, like the Toronto area. It's a lot of fun over there. So what's up, Doug? Uh, let's see. Just getting here. I also miss the RTR. We'll go next year. Nice hat. Thank you. If you know Illuminous, awesome. Thank you. Uh, it was a gift from them. So I appreciate uh, Diane and Dave. They were fantastic. If you ever get to work with Illuminous, I highly recommend it. They are really, really, really cool people. Uh, high price Jersey soon, Florida, possibly possible Arizona. I want, but I want the new 2024 transit. I'm going to get into that all wheel drive van coming soon, but I will, uh, but I'll have a base house. Having a base house is not a bad idea, by the way. It's, it's eventually I'll get to that in ye many years to come. Uh, right now I'm enjoying this way too much. Um, the 2020 transit. Thank you for bringing that up that if you guys don't know, Ford just announced that in 2020, they will have an option for an all-wheel drive transit. I don't know how expensive it'll be. I don't know what the difference from the two-wheel drive to the all-wheel drive will be, but it is exciting. Someone just asked me yesterday on a video I posted. By the way, yesterday I posted a tour with Scott, and if you follow him on Instagram, it comes with a view, all one word, his whole van, and there's a guidebook in the link in the description below. You got to check that out i'll put the link in this video as well it is a guidebook that he spent two years developing so if you guys are looking into uh doing a van build i'm actually going to use it myself for my next build it's it's so informative it's crazy there is a lot of free content and there is a little bit if you want more information you can pay for it but uh, i'm telling you guys it's a crap ton of information Love your shower setup, your van. Wish I have not pulled mine out. Oh, was that you that commented that uh, in the uh, the video? Was it my video or something like? I don't know if it was a video or a uh, camp goer one. Uh, I told you I was like you can always put it back in. <laughs> Just mad. Oh, thank you, thank you. Smash that thumbs up. Thank you, Life Trip. Uh, I can't wait to like meet all you guys. I'd like if I ever if I'm ever in your city, please like like say hey I, I actually watch your live stream and come meet me and i will i'll come meet you guys if i'm ever in your city uh so hopefully toronto is more central northeast is more st john where i am it's good to know i'll check i honestly i want to i want to travel most of canada canada is so like wide open and beautiful so i do want to check out more canada by the way scott with comes with a view is actually from canada which was really cool uh and i wasn't going to ask about that Sean, is that you that always asks about hats? Um, I just ordered another prototype. I'm such a perfectionist uh, from a, uh, this company that I think is going to do my selling. So, yes. Uh, I just priced a new transit here in Toronto, 58000 and change. Is that with Doug? Is that with the all wheel drive? Please let me know and please let everybody here know. Yeah, buddy, saved me 13 grand on the Quigley 4x4 conversions. Man, those Quigleys. They're on a two-year wait list, too, by the way. Uh, yes, Camp Goer, awesome. Uh, thank you for the vids. You're welcome. Thank you, John. How about I come to L.A. and take you out to dinner? Hey, you want? I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, my friend Angela just texted me. Angela, I know you're not on here, but you just got a shout-out. Uh, let's see. Issue with Quigley 4x4 is the wait time. I couldn't agree more with you, Greg. I think it's like I like I, I literally believe think it's, it's a two-year wait list. It's crazy right now. You can help me reinstall the shower cam goer one. Uh, yeah, maybe if I'm not too busy doing my next build. Uh, my next build is going to be probably happening in May. I didn't even talk about that yet. Holy hell. 
Um, I talked to my buddy Troy from Van Life Tech or Sprinter Van Tech. He owns both companies. Is is Angela the one with the spy van? No, that's Renee. Renee is not only the one with the spy van, she sold it, by the way. Renee is also the coordinator of um the of the Tiny Fest festivals. The Tiny Fest Northwest, Tiny Fest Midwest, and Tiny Fest California. Uh, I will I should be at Midwest and California. Midwest actually is up in uh, Oregon. It's up in Salem, Oregon this year, and I plan to have my new van on display there. If you can make it up there, excuse me again. Uh, if you can make it up there, then great. I hope I hope to see you guys all up there. Did you post your dad's picture? Like I did in my last live stream. Go check it out. Uh, I think it's his Flickr account. Uh, he's got some really cool photos on there. I have three batteries in my rig and they all boiled over any idea why what do you mean what do you mean camp car uh 58 grand for the transit uh <laughs> what's it in gold bars you got gold bars john um i i going back to what i was saying before is uh, uh by the way uh, i talked to troy van life tech sprinter van tech uh i am 90 maybe 99% sure that I'm using his systems in my next van. If you guys remember a video I did way back when with uh, Tiny Watt Solar, uh, Wes and Savannah, uh, they have a heated floor system that's actually run through the diesel lines. It is a very complicated system. And on top of that, a very expensive system. Uh, but it is, in my opinion, super, super worth it. I'm going to go over extreme details when that happens. It's not going to be happening until May. So... Uh, that heating system is more than likely going to happen in the van. It's going to be uh, really, really expensive. Alexander Stevenson, what a name. Uh, going back to your car and van, you have the long Promaster. It's the 159-inch wheelbase, so yeah, it's the big one, not the extended, though, I think. Yeah. Uh, how, how, is opposed, how is opposing a long can urban areas as a smaller size of 170 it is slightly smaller than the 170 sprinter my brother actually has a 2010 170 sprinter my cargo area my living space is 12 feet long and the 170 sprinters cargo length is uh 14 feet long uh plus you know the cab in the front i believe my bumper to bumper is about 20 to 21 feet and I can park, I've been a valet for very, way too long. So I can park this easily into a parallel parking spot. Uh, it can fit into urban areas, but my next van is going to be smaller just because I want to make sure that I can get in and out of spaces even that much easier. For a single uh, male, I found that this was actually almost too big, but a lot of people like this space. So is it too big? No. Is it, uh, could you go smaller? I, I think so. Yes. Uh, but uh, you know, it's, it's really a matter of preference. Uh, when you realize you get into this area of smallness, you, 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 you realize what you do need and what you don't need. Um, did you let, did, did he let you say the prices? No, Sean, uh, Troy and I talked about that. We will not go over prices until, uh, further down the road. I apologize. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you mean, Sean. Uh, 58 was Canada or Canadian. Uh, so like 15 American. Oh, okay. Uh, can't go one. Oop, my mouse is in the way. Uh, they all went bad. The sealed type. Really? What type did you have? Oh, uh, did you just say it right there? Really? I, I mean, I haven't had a problem with my batteries. I have uh, gel batteries, which have, I think a eight or 10 year shelf life. Uh, depending on what you drain them, but I got them through energy. I love my batteries. I absolutely love my batteries. Boiled over batteries, man. Overcharging or overheating? Yeah, Matt, he's right. I uh, can't go over one. Matt, Matt is right. Uh, if you if you overcharge them or overheat them, I have a, th a thermostat in my battery area, which helps a lot. Think that's what they're called. Yeah, I meant to put that put parking. Yeah, parking. Yeah, I know. I know what you meant, Alexander. Man, that is such a cool name, by the way. I kind of wish I had a cool name like that. Uh, will the new van get an extensive vlog build series? Uh, extensive is um, is actually probably the right word. I was gonna try. I was gonna try to think of a bigger word than that, but yeah, like Justin, uh, it's it's. I'm going seriously in depth. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm buying it from. I'm gonna show you the install 
in as much as I can on the heated floor system. I'm going to show you one. I'm going to be almost said one of the things. I'm going to show you some serious, like what I'm doing for insulation and why I'm doing it. I'm not going to just show you. I'm going to show you why I'm doing it. So that is really a big thing to me because a lot of people are like, wait, why did you use that insulation? I'm going to explain why I use that insulation over certain other insulation. Why am I using this type of plywood over that type of plywood? Why am I using uh, 8020 aluminum here and not for the entire framing? So there's going to be a lot of different uh, things uh, through that whole build series that's going to be seriously intense. Uh, Sean, Sean Dillon, Dillon from Connecticut says, hi, uh, thanks for your videos. You're welcome. Uh, do you ever get lonely on the road or do you meet up with friends? That's a really good question, Sean. And thank you for asking. Uh, hey dad, what is up? D dad, are you with Isadora right now? My dad is Steve Touch, by the way, if you guys are looking at the comments, dad, are you with Isadora? Isadora is my niece. Um, hi Isadora, if you are there and I'm assuming my brother Jason and my sister-in-law Genevieve are also with you. Uh, but that would be really nice if they are. Hey guys. Um, Let's see. Oh, going back to Lonely on the Road. Uh, it's a little bit of both. I actually like to be by myself a lot of the time, so it's kind of nice. Uh, the When the Van Life app launches, it's going to fix a lot of those problems, and it will be able to make life easier for Van Lifers by downloading that app. I, I can't tell you when it's being launched, but I can tell you it's being launched soon. Uh, they are actually hosting an event at the end of the month. Uh, they've already sold out on tickets. I'm going, uh, and I'm going to do a vlog there. So share with you guys, and I'm going to be doing a live stream there. And that is the 30th and 31st of March. So it's the last weekend of this month. And I'm really excited. It's going to be same time live streaming and I've already cleared it with them. They already are going to allow me to do it on their site. I'm really, really excited, but that is the Van Life app. You can actually go to the, the Van Life app.com, sign up early. Uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this. They're just, I just like to promote good people. Charge controller should stop you, you cooking your batteries. Yes, your charge, you're right, Greg. Charge controller is extremely important uh, when uh, installing your solar setup because uh, your solar panels will overcharge your batteries, but your solar charge controller, that's exactly what it does. It, it, controls the charge going into the batteries that's why they call it a solar charge controller uh, make sure you get the proper amperage of your charge controller that can handle the amount of watts on your roof i have 600 watts on my roof my charge controller has to be 600 uh, excuse me 60 amps uh, to get the maximum amount of power from my 600 watts of panels so make sure that you talk to a solar expert when uh, making your system to make sure it's all right I'm probably behind on comments. I apologize. Uh, how do you know how long to change them? Kemp Gore one, which uh, I'm, I'm lost here. Uh, I have, I had no lights at all in the interstate battery. It was new. Yeah, that goes back to, uh, I would have them tested. I don't know if I would use an interstate battery for, you know, I'd have to check the, the different type of batteries that you would use. Have you ever picked up a, a lot lizard? I know the word. I don't know exactly what you mean, Radio Tech. Do you think he's <laughs> lot lizard type? Oh, I think I know what a lot lizard is. No, I'm not that type. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see. His his dad is in here, so no, it's it's, not, it's going to be the answer. Uh, my dad is as crazy as I am, so don't worry about that. Do you recommend? Uh, no, but I have not picked up a lot lizard. If I think I know what a lot lizard is, if I'm th if I'm thinking that's correct, and no, definitely not. Do you recommend? Do you recommend having a bathroom in area in the van? How often do you use it? I do recommend it, and I don't use it often, which is weird. So I use it for emergency purposes. I'm looking at it like it's like it's right next to me. Um, I don't use it often. Uh, but I, but like, for example, at the van life app meetup at the end of this month, I'm going to be using it. There's not going to be any showers there. I don't think there are, but I want to, you know, be clean. And guess what? I have a shower in my van. Boom. So I want to make sure that I can shower and stay clean. People might be asking me to use mine. Who knows? Uh, Hey, Hey Toronto. What's up, Sean from Toronto? Uh, John. Nice. Thank you. Uh, I paid a guy two grand to hook up a rewiring everything. Now I have nothing. Guys, do your research on who you hire. 
you know, make sure that they're qualified. Camp Grow One, I apologize. I'm sorry that you went through hell, but hey, you know what? It's a learning experience, my man or girl, if you, whoever you may be. Uh, so then maybe a dollar generator is easier. Uh, let's see. Charge them. DC to DC chargers rock. <laughs> Sean, thanks. I figured that out when I said it out loud. Yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Radio Tech, no, I don't. I, I've never picked one up, nor do I ever plan on it unless I'm cracked out myself. Uh, uh, do you hear about this uh, Titan solar generator? It's supposed to be the Kodiak killer. I have not heard of it, but I'm going to research it as soon as I'm done here with you guys. Faux show. Uh, where is the meetup this month? Uh, actually, it's they were selling tickets to it, so they capped it, which was like so awesome. Uh, it's outside of Santa Barbara, uh, more inland, but they capped it at 120 vehicles and they sold out within four days. It was crazy. Uh, so it's, it's sold out. Nobody's going to be able to go at this point, unless you already got tickets, then come join me. Uh, let's see. Hi. Hi, Mary, uh, from North Carolina. What up? Uh, Kodiak, Kodiak is two grand. Really? Wow. Um, <laughs> guys, I also get a lot of questions on what I shoot with. I have my camera actually right here with me. It is a Canon SL2. It has the 10 to 18 lens on it. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there to everybody. If they're interested, it's the SL2. It's actually really, really easy. It is a light camera, <gasps> but I'm switching. I'm switching to the Sony a6400 in, in the next couple of months. Uh, sweet Sean, rock on, brother or girl. I don't even know. I don't know who you guys are because that way that Sean is spelled, isn't that the girl way to spell it? I'm not even sure. I have no idea. Either way, I'm good with it. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping this up over the next couple of minutes. If you valet does not pay well at all, I'll tell you that right now. I just saved my pennies. Is that what you're thinking because of the build that I'm in? I worked two jobs, by the way, for six months to save up for this build. I worked an overnight shift, and then I worked a day shift at another job. Two full-time jobs for six months to save up the money to pay for this build cash. Uh, who asked that, by the way? Sean, yeah. So that's that's what I did for this particular build. Now, my next build, I'm going to be taking the money I'll be making from the sell of this, from this you know, I'm selling this van. I'm going to take all of that money and literally dump it into the next van. I'm going to be walking away with no profit at all, which is funny. Uh, let's see. I started my rig last night and the coach light came on. I had no coach battery. Hmm. Uh, Titan is supposed to power the whole RV. No way, John, I'm going to check that out. I know somebody else uh, mentioned the Titan earlier. So I'm going to check out this, this Titan generator. I, I'm a, you know, you got, you got, if you guys follow me long enough that you know that I'm a woodworker and I do a woodworking out of the back of my van, I'm going to be doing a different setup on the new one, but, um, that Titan generator might be really cool for that purpose. Do you have a vid of your shower install? Ugh, no, the only work that I have is really the first video I posted way back when on January 2nd, 2018. And that was pretty much the entire build process it was a 20 minute video really really badly edited by me sorry about that the i have a couple videos on my shower but nothing on the actual install literally it's just a pan that i bought off amazon two walls up uh, i talk about a little bit on my water video i talk about like how i how i do my whole water and plumbing so if you want to check that out because i actually drilled through the hole uh of the floor i drilled a hole for the for the pipe to go through uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email, uh, theghostfan at gmail.com. I'll try to help you out. Uh, do you know of anyone who who reuse the condensation to refill their fresh water tank? No, I don't. I, would you get enough water off of the condensation is the question. Um, I have heard of people using like rain uh, diverters into a, into a tank. In Southern California, which I spent a lot of my time in, I it's not it's not worth it because you only get like 60 days of rains with the exception of this year we've had like i don't know 100 that's crazy it's been raining like crazy um serious grind life trip you have not even kidding you it was it was hell on earth um 
two jobs for six months. We're talking 80 hours a week for six months. I was near death at the end of it. I'm kidding, obviously, but it was not easy. It was a lot. Of, it was worth it because I get to live this lifestyle. What's up, Cat? You're finally on. Uh, I have two jobs and go to school. I, Cat, I know you're. Um, I know you're paying, obviously, uh, guys. When I when I went to school, I only had one job, which was hard enough on me. So I know you're paying, Cat. I'm with you. Wish I would have known you. I would have paid you to help me. Cam Gore one. Um, I'm sorry. I actually have been asked to do some builds and I usually actually turn them down. I am sorry about that. I just, it's, uh, I don't know the time, unfortunately, but if you guys, if I'm around, don't pay me. I'll just help you. I'll help you with where, where I can, uh, nowhere enough water, uh, production for a camper. I agree. Uh, why don't they make an all in one van shower where you can just buy install? Uh, I would definitely buy one. They kind of do. If you go to showerloop.com, I think they have it, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to say that. I think they make one, but I don't like it. Um, I will be installing, I think, a shower looping system, and that's going to be by Troy, which is going to be using a recirculating gallon and a half of water through a UV light system that's going to kill all bacteria, et cetera, and so forth. So, yeah, I'm going to be installing that in my next van, more than likely with on-demand hot water, which is crazy. Uh, one, I need heat. I have a Mr. Buddy, uh, but it's for, but it's, but it's icky for my lungs. Really? Camper going on. It's, it's hurting your lungs? Vent, my man. I'm sure you are. Uh, or my girl, whatever you are. I'm sorry. Um, any, any issues? I know, I know you probably do vent. Uh, let's see. John, don't retract a message. Um, any issues with critter or mold? You know, <laughs> never critters, never like mice or anything like that. Mold, no, because everything in here, with the exception of wood, is pretty much mold proof. Um, I'm also in a lot of dry areas, so I don't really have to worry about the mold so much. So I'm not really worried about that. And also, yeah, I mean, the only thing you have to worry about. Yeah, there's not there's not really any con condensation. Plus, the heater I use is a is like a dry heat, so I don't really have to really worry about it. Uh, there is a YouTube vid on the Titan. I wanted to buy one. They're forty five hundred. Holy heckness! I want to see if they're worth forty five hundred. Yes, I'm down the road. You will definitely hit you up for my build, Cat. Where are you? Uh, same uh, same type they use in dialysis. Really. I'm assuming you're talking about the Titan, Sean. Uh, do you have Buck SD's email interested in his van, but not on Instagram? Thanks. He sold his uh, van. Um, I don't know if he has an email. I'll have to ask him, and I will put it in the link below if I can get a hold of him. Uh, but I will ask him for his email and see if I can put it in here. Uh, Shower Loop, L-O-O-P. Um, check them out. I, I don't really agree with them, but there's like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, uh, have a shower recirculating shower system. It's definitely not a new thing. Uh, that's what I need is dry heat with a blower, uh, DC thermal.com. Also, I think I'm, I'm saying this incorrectly, but Wabasco or the, Oh, what is that other company? Now I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, if you go actually to the last video I have, uh, in the link below, there's a van building guidebook and it's a, a lot of his heating is in there. It's actually really good. It's an air something. I forget what it's called, but it's really, really good. His heater Palm Springs. What up? Are you guys getting rain out there? That's where you are, cat. I know. Thanks. Um, maybe I'll come visit. I, I love Palm Springs. It's gorgeous out there. Uh, what if any van slash... Is that Rivers? Oh, a Van RVers. My bad. YouTubers, do you watch? No need to promote. Do you watch other YouTubers? I do. I do. Uh, I watch Bob Wells because yeah, he's just fun to watch sometimes. Um, I can't talk about the ones. I There's a lot I don't like. Uh, I'm giving a shout out to Dave 2D Vlogs right now. I love watching his roasts. I'm a, I am a comedian guy, so watching other people like be kind of funny and silly is kind of cool uh so dave 2d vlogs he gets a huge shout out right now 
Uh, he's super funny when he does uh, van life roasts. It's so funny. Um, not family rated. It's more rated R, uh, but he's really funny. Um, I watch a couple other like van building ones just to see, but I like, I get, uh, is I can't, I don't even know the names of these people. Trent and Alley, uh, they're obviously pretty huge. <coughs> the fit RV. I started watching a long time ago into the mystery. 13 is another guy I used to watch way back when, um, he's kind of fallen off recently. Uh, he's got, you know, he's changing things up in life. Uh, Milwaukee. What up? Tomas. Am I saying that right? Uh, yes. Oh my God. The desert is, is not made for rain. Cat. I know you're going through hell over there. Uh, Dave 2d, the, the, which video is that? I also watch Bob Wells. Yeah. Live trip. Dave 2d is friggin' so funny, dude. Like, uh, I've actually met him in person. He's like the coolest dude ever. I can't wait to see him again. I actually asked to do a, a collaborative uh, video with him and we're just never in the same area. Unfortunately, do you get a chance to see that Land Rover RV built? I linked you last week, Greg. Uh, no, wait, did I? I, I click on a lot of stuff. I don't remember everything I click on. I, uh, send it to me again. I'll go check out it again. I get obviously get a lot of comments and I try to answer everybody, but if I didn't, if I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Cat, uh, you got that right. No drainage camp or one. Yeah, I agree. Let's see Milwaukee from K town here. What up? All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up. I'm at 31 and change minutes, 32 minutes coming up. So, uh, if you guys got any last minute questions, please ask. Like I said, there is a delay on the comments, so I'll, I'll wait an extra 30 seconds or so. Greg, thanks for sending that link. Appreciate it. I'll check it out. I'm going to see if I can open it right now in a new tab. There it is. I will definitely check that out. Couples own packs. Right, so now it's already up on my screen. You're good there, Greg. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, what's over your shoulder? Right here, I'm assuming. It's my camera bag. I hold my camera in it. I got a couple hats up here. It's on a hook. I'll throw my hats on my bed. It's just my camera bag. I got lenses. I got some other things. And then over here is a um, is a chalkboard. I went to actually write on it today, and I broke my chalk. Uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Joseph, I can't like I love Connecticut. Obviously, one of my best friends lives in Connecticut. What fridge do you recommend for the new build for, for a new build? Ooh. Ooh, you can't go wrong with, I think, any fridge. Uh, do you want a top loader chest style or do you want a front opener, front uh, loader? A One opening from the front, isotherm. Uh, one from the, the top, Dometic. I love my Dometic, but I think I'm getting the wide, Widener, Wider, Widen. I can't say the name. Um, it's metal, and I will, uh, as soon as I buy it, I'll, I'll send you guys a link, or you guys can look it up. I'll maybe put a link in here later on. Top loading fridge, John. I'm assuming that was you that just asked that. What fridge do you recommend? I I, I have I actually prefer a top loader. Uh, in my next build, I'm actually also doing a top loader, and I'm gonna have a separate freezer and fridge. Right now, I have the Dometic Dual Zone, which it's like a, there's a plastic divider in the middle. It's okay, but I want something a little bit more, just better. Uh, the draws on these are about 5.5 amps. It's nothing. It's sips power. Uh, let's see nomadic movement Kylie. Oh, thanks. Uh, I, I like my voice, but I think it's a little deep. Sometimes top loaders are more efficient and messy to load. I agree. It's kind of sucks. It's like, you can't really win. You're in a van. So it's really what you want for space. And they always take up so much darn room beds. I think for me, I have to design around my bed system, whatever bed that may be, my uh, bathroom, and then my fridge. Those are the three main things that I have to like design my van around. Once you decide what you're going to be using, whether you're going to be using a fixed bed or if you're going to be using a pull-out bed or a bed that drops uh, from a table, uh, then you can figure out really what kind of fridge you want to use. If you're going to have a bathroom, if you're not going to have, when I say bathroom, I mean shower. So it's like designing all that. Uh, ARB top. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the ARBs, but that's just me. Um, I think Dometic is a better buy, but that's just me. They are cheaper, though, I think, right? Top loaders are more efficient. Messy delay. I already said that one. Uh, what do you know about Norcold? Uh, I know absolutely nothing about them because I that's the first I've ever heard of them uh, on your comment there, Capcomer1. 
Have you seen any hammocks in a van? Oh my, oh my goodness, yes. Are you kidding me? Hammocks in the van is like almost a must do. I don't have one in mine, but a lot of people have them, and then they will like put them up uh, when they like camp out for whatever a day or so. But yeah, they they happen all the time. Thank you very much, uh, Kickass UK. Um, thank you, Kickass UK. What a name! You guys have the coolest names. Haven't seen many Murphy fold down beds and vans. Uh, Doug, just wait. Um, I'm not going to say much else more about that, but you guys that are still on here may have just got a little preview of what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Or that are waited the 35 minutes to watch this whole video. Most of the time, nor car, nor colds are pretty solid working. John, thank you for answering that for camp Gore one. I appreciate it. Ah, bastard. LOL. <laughs> Doug uh yeah just wait i'm not gonna say if that is happening or not happening just wait i'm also gonna be helping buck sd with something oh crap i might not be i might not be in san diego but i hope to help uh the guy that had the murphy bed in the van uh buck sd or buck uh, brennan buckley uh he had a murphy bed in his there's also another person on instagram called the murphy sprinter i believe um i the design's cool i just it's big it's a big bed uh well you're an awesome van builder thank you camp go i appreciate it uh, uh the one butts was cool the one guys was cool yeah it was, uh, it was cool uh he's doing another build and it's going to be pretty much the same so we're going to stay tuned for that i'm going to try and get him again on oh, no, i just built one in his nice jared campbell i don't i haven't seen you all day uh all right no kylie on nomadic movement friends with trenton alley oh okay i'll check them out all right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. I said that a few minutes ago, and I keep on saying that, and I'm an idiot. So um, stay tuned for this video coming out on the Luminous. I really couldn't say too much about it uh, because it is something that has actually never been filmed before. And so that's uh, probably coming out not this week, but next week. It is – I can't even share photos on it. That's how, like, hush-hush they are about it. I really can't even say what – is what i even filmed i just it's, it's, let's just say it was it was crazy uh it was uh it was a lot a lot of fun and the owners of the company i got to meet and you guys will see them in video uh greg also have a good week sean thank you very much for staying on this whole time camp Gore one thank you for staying on this whole time uh and everybody else that did not kick ass uk thank you for coming in and for everybody else that came in and watched i really appreciate it guys i will see you guys next week sundays 2 p.m. I come on every every time and I'll be doing a live stream at the end of the month from the Van Life app meetup. And I think that's it, guys. I'll see you. If you got any questions, please comment below and I'll answer them later. Alexander Stevenson, badass name. I like it a lot. See you guys.